It's funny, the uh, passive house was invented uh, by a guy from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan called Harold Orr. And uh, it was at the time of the last oil crisis. So these things were, they were starting to build these in 1970s, in the 1970s. And a, what a passive house is, is a super insulated home. Uh, you have double walls, uh, you have insulation that doesn't stop throughout the building, and it's sealed up so well that you require 10% of the energy of a normal home. So at that point, your energy systems can be quite modest. In fact, uh, a passive house itself, if you were to build one unit instead of 85 units, like the example I was talking about, uh, you can heat a passive house with two hair dryers. You could put, you could just use existing homes and install massive solar systems that would cover half the city. Uh, or you can make the home super efficient uh, and then require a lot less energy. And then the solar systems fit on the roof. Well, in fact, thanks to evolving technology, we have actually old homes probably have more stale air in them than some of these new homes because they use these uh, HRV units, these air units that circulate, have fans in them and they circulate air. And what they do is they pre-warm the air. So when you're, you're sending your used air out, it goes through a system that harvests the air, the heat off that air as it's going out. And some of these things are 85% efficient. So as you're exporting your air to the outside, our minus 30 degree day in Edmonton, you're only losing about 15% of the heat. And that's thanks to the efficiency of these modern air exchange systems. Now, in a, in a passive house, you don't even need a furnace. What they do is they install a small resistance heater right in the air exchange system. So you don't have a furnace, you have an air exchange system that has, like I said, two hair dryers in it.